Hello everyone, this is Anon, and welcome back to Legend of Dragoon. Um, I just wanted to take a quick moment to show you the gold grinding spot. And I'm also, another person making this is I'm testing out a new headset just to check the audio quality and whatnot. Um, but, this is pretty much what I've been doing for the last couple hours. Oh, no, not this. But... I have been grinding the first special monster that I think you can like reliably grind for gold. And I've been doing this to afford buying some special items in Lohan. And I'll uh, go over my setup and all that in a couple minutes. I should do that obviously before. Even starting a fight, because if I already got in a fight with it, I would have had to explain everything. Oh, no. I don't want that. Uh, yes, I'll discard that. Okay. Which I think I'm gonna... Nah, I have the levels are fine right now. Okay, made notice I have Hashel and Shauna on my party, or Shayna. And that's for a special reason, which I'll get into in a sec. As you can see, I got Hashel up to his fifth level of E edition. So when I actually get back to like, the main storyline, I'm not going to be using him right away because he does not have a Dragoon Spirit. So what's the point in using him? I'm using Shauna just for speed, but she got to Dragoon level two while doing this gold grinding. And I guess I'll show off the equipment of what I'm doing. Okay, I haven't changed anything with Dart. I gave Shauna, the War God's Amulet, to give her 150 hit percentage with attacks, which is very good. And I gave Hashel the same War God, so he's only at like 130, 120. Not, he's not at 150. Now the reason I'm using Hashel and Shauna is because, you, as you can see, below Magic Attack and Magic Defense, there's Speed. And he's got 60 Speed, she has 65, and Dart, I'm forced to use him, he has 50. I'm not using Lavitz because he has 40 speed, and Rose I guess I could use. She has 55, it's not really that much of a difference, but I wanted to level Hashel's first edition level anyway, so. Oh, oh well, doesn't really matter. What I'm doing is I'm trying to find a special, item, a special monster, and it's right on this dot. This is like the best place to encounter them. I think you can encounter them from anywhere on this road, pretty much, but it's a very low spawn percentage. Hopefully I got him here. Nope, didn't get him. I think I'll just cut away until I run into what I want to show off. Here we go. First try after I cut recording. Oh! Okay, well, I guess I'll uh, start off the fight, or start off the explanation with that. This is called the Zero Zero part, and... He has two moves. First one, he either does a regular physical attack for not a lot of damage at all. And the second one is that, where he instantly kills a party member and he runs away. That's obviously very annoying. Oh, I don't have a... Do not have... I guess I'll, I'm going to waste a healing breeze because I don't want to go back to town right now. That's a complete waste. feel terrible doing it, but anyway. So, the trick to fighting him... Ah, I'm going a bit too far. The trick to fighting him is to get it so that you hit him once with pretty much anybody. You hit him once and then you use Magic Stone of Signet and it stuns him. I'm gonna get back into a battle and hopefully we don't get RNG'd. Okay, finally. Got into a fight where he just attacked me right away. Now, you want to get a hit. I missed here. That's not good. You want to get a hit in before using the magic signet stone. Another attack. Okay, I'm, I'm getting lucky here. Come on. Nice. Now I just need uh, Shayna to go. Nice. Okay, now... You gotta get magic signet stone on, and it'll block three actions for this guy. He's very fast. So, there's one. Oh, two. That's not good. Um, you have to hit him four times. He has four HP. And Shayna is actually the most useful person here. Because she has the highest accuracy. Okay. I'm probably not going to get the kill this. But at least I showcased 
uh, how you do it. Oh man, very unlucky. But there are better points in the game to do this. Um, once your characters have more access to speed items, it's a lot better. But as you can see there, I got a little unlucky, missing twice. But that's the way it happens. Shayna missed once in all my grinding, and I went from like 4,800 gold to... What do I have? 16,500 right now. And by the time this video comes out, I'll probably have more. Like, I'm gonna... I'm going to, um... I believe grind a couple, a little bit more off screen. And I'll pick this back up with future me probably early next week. So take it away, future me. Got back. Past me, farmed up some gold. And as you can see in the bottom left it's almost 23,000 which isn't bad before I go over, go into what I'm going to buy I'm just gonna go into like what happened while I was farming as you can see dart got Dragoon level 4 which is pretty remarkable I don't think I've ever been at that point this early Labbits, I didn't do much with him like at all so I'll be using him the next dungeon Shayna got to 3 Rose got to 3 and let's go over additions. Hashel's at five or level five. So yeah, everything's going pretty good on that front. Um, when you're fighting for the rare mob, you'll run into crystal golem sometimes, and they can drop something called sapphire pins. Um, I, we got one earlier in the game, obviously, but here's a refresher. When damage by magic MP is accumulated, they sell for 500 gold. So, that's pretty good. I kept one, and I sold like three. So now I have two sapphire pins. It's pretty definite. Pretty good windfall. Um, I don't suggest you keep more than three though if like you're determined to keep some so you just swap out equipment that was actually quite a bit of grinding uh definitely a lot more than i expected i had a really horrible string of luck with <laughs> the mobs just immediately killing me and then running so i definitely suggest you wait until you're higher level but we're going to buy one legend cask no, don't want to be out with it. Now you could buy the Phantom Shield, but that's, I mean, the Legend Cask is enough. Like you don't, you don't need all that stuff. This stuff will be always be here. We can always do it later. Let's equip. Oh, actually, let's replace. I'm not bringing. I don't bring. Oh yeah, I, I she got to level 11, which is nice because she when she rejoined the party, she was like level nine, which is kind of low. She got two levels during that grinding. It's pretty good. Arm. I give it to her. Look at her magic attack. It's 67, which is already really high. Like, really high. Now it's going to 100. Her magic defense is going from 46 to 173. And her magic evasion is going from 5 to 55. The game's broken at this point. Like, Rose will pretty much never die. It's a joke. I just want to showcase it a little bit. I'll probably take it off later. Because it really does break the game just having one. I briefly thought about farming up like 8,000 more gold and buying three. Then it's like, why even bother making the Let's Play? Because no one else is going to have the patience to do that. That's. It's really, really boring. Oh, the old farming spot. So while King Albert is probably being tortured horribly, we just farming robots. That's the way I like it.
I actually probably should have had a uh, dart defend, so allow us to get a chance attack. Dart doesn't need any more SP, so I'm not keeping him on burning rush. I'm just giving him the most damaging addition. Good old hell in a prison. The Wabbits can't be taken out for this part, he's gotta be in the party. Damn dude, he's in beast mode. Why are you waiting to dawn to kill him? Just kill him now. <laughs> Frugal's such a jackass. Aren't you scared? We already kicked the crap out of you once. Oh, okay. Now is when you choose the party, apparently. There's no point to bring uh, Shayna or Hashel because they don't have any new additions to learn or in the case of Hashel, he doesn't have a Dragoon level so see these guys are the same as before ah Oh my god, I'm suck. Oh, fire and dart? That's not gonna do anything. Nine damage. It's interesting that Rose is doing so much more damage than Dart, despite having an addition that does less damage percentage. But that's simply because her weapon is a lot better than Dart's. This is the area we couldn't really get to last time. Well, we could, but this lift was broken, so what's the point? Lift is not broken anymore. Should be some uh, treasure here. Belt hat. White's journey. Whatever's at the end of it better be worth it. Is 
therapy ring, and that definitely is worth it. Therapy ring covers HP each turn. So it's like the healing ring and lunar. For example. Why not? Oh, someone's got the felt felt hat. I believe that's Rose, but So it's actually completely garbage. Even what she had is better. Sucks. But it's definitely worth this journey to get the therapy ring. Pretty good. Silver embroidered vest. Let's see how good this thing is. It gives you 15 magic defense and 6 defense and a little attack evasion. It's not like she needs it, but she's the only one in the main group who can use it right now. Okay. Oh wait, no, no, there's a ladder. Uh, this is all about getting treasure. There's a lot of treasure to be found. Leather armor, sucks. Go back up here. I'll be honest now, I don't remember how to get back up top. Kinda sad. That's like, I wanted to leave. But so resets the lift. Yeah, that's all I'll do. I'll reset the lifts, hopefully. If you hit the go upstairs button, you will definitely head on upstairs and out of this room, which I don't think is a good thing yet. Can I carry any more of these items? Thunderbolt, okay. I think there's something else, but...
Well, I'll figure that out next time. This seems like a good place to end it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Now on out.